Note, always follow local building codes because the fan may require specific fasteners or anchoring systems not discussed in this installation video. Installation should be done by a licensed roofing contractor. Important, wiring diagrams are for examples only. Wiring should be done by a licensed electrician following local building and electrical codes and or NEC guidelines. Note, your fan came with the smart control hub pre-wired to a power cord for testing purposes before installation. If you would like to hardwire the fan or it is required by your local building codes, please follow the wiring instructions in your owner's manual. Note, when applying weatherproof sealant, be sure to use a generous amount to create a watertight seal. The second generation AFR is designed to be the easiest roof mount attic fan that you can install on your home. For this installation, we will be installing the AFR on a shingle roof. We will be using the included primary flashing. For installing the AFR on a tile or cement roof, please watch the video titled Quiet Cool AFR Roof Mount Attic Fan Installation on Tile Roofs. The first step for installing the AFR is to determine in which area you would like to install your fan. Once you have found the location, from inside the attic, find the center point between the two roof rafters and mark it as the center of the fan hole. Partially insert a screw into the center point mark. Head up to the roof. Using the screw as a reference point with the provided template, trace out the 17 and a quarter inch diameter circle. Use a reciprocating saw to cut out the traced hole pattern from the roof decking. Remove the cutout decking material from around the hole as needed. If there are roofing nails holding the shingles in place around the cut hole, insert the reciprocating saw sideways between the shingles and roof decking and cut in a sweeping motion around the hole. Using a roofing knife, cut a four inch horizontal slit in the shingles at the nine o'clock and three o'clock positions of the hole, allowing the fans flashing to slide underneath the shingles. Remove the fan hood for easier installation. This will help you line up the fan to the hole in the roof. Lifting the fan unit up at an angle, apply weatherproof sealant to the bottom side of the fan unit. Be sure to use a generous amount of weatherproof sealant to keep the fan in place and create a watertight seal. Slide the fan unit underneath the shingles until the fan reaches the top of the hole and apply more sealant. Using a minimum of eight roofing nails, nail the fan to the roof through the primary flashing, securing the fan to the roof. To prevent leaking, be sure to apply weatherproof sealant on the nail heads. Secure the shingles by re-nailing them into the roof and applying weatherproof sealant. Apply weatherproof sealant to the seam between the AFR fan housing and primary flashing. The seam must be sealed to create a weatherproof barrier between the fan and the flashing. Note: This seam exists to allow the use of interchangeable flashings. If this seam is not sealed, water may leak in between the fan housing and the flashing. Be sure to use a generous amount of weatherproof sealant to create a watertight seal. Reinstall the hood onto the fan unit and remove the protective film. Now head back into the attic, open up the smart control hub and find a good location to mount the hub. If you'd like to hardwire your fan or it is required by local building codes, follow the wiring instructions in the owner's guide. For this installation, we will be utilizing the included power cord. Open up the hub and using two screws, mount it to the joist in your chosen location. Once plugged in, the installation is complete. For more on operating the Smart Control app, pairing your phone, and more, please watch our QuietCool Smart Control tutorial videos.